Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian Simmons Comics. In this video, I'm giving you guys my picks for comic books that are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday night. That's right. Get your orders in, get your pre-orders in, secure those copies. That way you guarantee yourself one, you save a little bit on that discount, most likely through pre-orders. But nonetheless, you don't have to go hunting for them on release day being a Wednesday warrior. And if this is the first time watching this video, I give a couple picks. We also have it in the showcase version. And then at the end, we cover additional printings or those later printings that are gonna be hitting FOC as well. So make sure you watch till the end. But we're gonna get right into it right now, starting with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 114. This is pretty much a plug and play. This series is often covered on this channel. So no doubt, Definitely gonna be or in this for final order cutoff. It's gonna have that cover A, that cover B, that Kevin Eastman cover, of course. But then there's also that incentive one in 10 variant. And in this issue, Jenica comes face to face with the person who tried to kill her. And on top of it, with the rest of the Ninja Trolls, be able to stop Jenica from extracting the revenge she so seeks. Next up, we get Daredevil number 27. Yes, now we all know Daredevil 25 had that great reveal in there. This is gonna be a King in Black tie-in issue as well. All know how much I love that Chip Zdarsky Daredevil run. That Marco Cicchetto art is fantastic as well. If you're not reading this, I know I keep saying this, but if you are not reading the current Daredevil run, that Chip Zdarsky, you're missing out. Pick it up and trade if you have to, but this is definitely a great one to jump on, and I'm definitely pre-ordering this. It's also gonna have a Manuela Lupacino regular priced Masterworks variant, so be on the lookout for that as well. Getting over to Boom Studios for a minute. We get Mighty Morphin number four. This was gonna be my pick for FOC. But I actually have another one that I'm looking at and we'll get to that in a little bit later. But this is a big issue. It's gonna have a key reveal. You're definitely gonna be picking this up. And if you like Incentive Variants, if you like Peach Momoko, this is gonna have a one in 25 and a one in 50 Peach Momoko Incentive Variant. Next up from IDW shared with that DC Universe, we're gonna get Lock and Key mixed with Sandman and Helen Gone number one. Two great titles, two great series, a lot of fans on both sides of it, and this is definitely one that's picking up. Now, it's not gonna be the first one we did have an issue zero, but this is one picking up nonetheless. I believe issue two is actually gonna come from DC, so issue one's coming from IDW, issue two is gonna be coming from DC, and Friends of the channel, The 616 Comics, has that kick-ass Megan Hutchinson variant, so check out the 616comics.com, get your orders in for that. There's a lot of other great store exclusives as well, so be on the lookout for those. Next from DC, we're getting Future State Teen Titans number two. We all know that the number one issue is definitely on fire right now, especially with that whole Red X, but issue number two is hitting FOC, so we don't know what that story might entail, it always carries over. So if you're a fan of Teen Titans, get that pre-order in, get that discount. And remember, DC's FOC is earlier than Diamond's FOC. Then from Marvel, we get Morbius, Bond of Blood number one. Now we all know one of the big movies coming in 2021 is that Jared Leto, Sony Pictures with Morbius. How's that gonna tie into the Spider-Verse? So Marvel's constantly putting out different Morbius series. And in this issue, Morbius faces a ghost from his past. That's right, his first kill, who was Emil Nikos, which was actually Morbius's research partner. That is, until he killed him. But now Emil's son is dying from a rare blood disease and only Morbius can save him. But, of course, at what cost? That's where, you know, Solicit tries to bring you in. If you're a fan of Morbius and you have interest in seeing that movie, it's always worth picking these up, especially uh, get, get that discount on pre-order and get back into that whole Morbius universe before that movie gets released. That's gonna bring us to the indie showcase portion of this video, brought to you by Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. Now I mentioned earlier in this video how Mighty Morphin number four was kind of gonna be my pick, but this next one we're gonna talk about is definitely my pick for Final Order Cutoff, and it's from Image Comics, and we're talking about Radiant Black. And it kind of, there's kind of a weird translation there, talking about Mighty Morphin, Radiant Black, is written by Kyle Higgins, who wrote, guess what? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, back when it was issue number one, carried it through until Ryan Parrott took over. But here he is with his own creator, own title. Radiant Black kind of brings that Mighty Morphin magic over into the series. I was privileged enough to read that first issue. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Kyle Higgins is super excited to do his own creator work, and he's teamed up with this artist, Marcelo Costa, and the cover for it's got a great Michael Cho cover, but that's not all. There is gonna be a one in 10, a one in 25, and also a cover B, so make sure if you're gonna get that, make sure you get those pre-orders in, and 
You can pre-order this as well as all the other books we talk about in this video from Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. The next one we're talking about is also from Image Comics. We're talking about Stray Dogs number one. The solicit pitches this as Lady and the Tramp meets Silence of the Lambs and they pitch it so much that it actually has an homage cover to Silence of the Lambs for this book. But they also talk about this as a five issue Don Bluth style suspense thriller. I'm on board, huge Disney fan, so I like The Lady and Tramp, and I like suspense thrillers. So this one, if it's got Don Blue style art, I'm definitely on board for it. This is one I'm picking up. Also hitting final or cutoff from this week from Boom Studios, we get Last Witch number two. This might not be one of those sexy picks, but me, I loved, absolutely loved the first issue. We've had the first issue on this video. We, I also talked about it last week on this video when we talked about Last Witch number one hitting the second printing. Here we got issue number two hitting final order cutoff. It's also got that cover B as well as a one in 25 incentive variant. This book is fantastic. The interior art is absolutely gorgeous. It lends itself to the story so well. I'm a sucker for these fantasy stories. This is definitely one that's worth picking up. If you're a fan of Folklords, if you're a fan of Wend, this is right there in that in that wheelhouse with from Boom Studios and definitely suggest picking up Last Witch. That's gonna close out the indie showcase. But again, those books and all the other books discussed in this video can be pre-ordered from blackcapecomics.com. And we now get to the additional printings. There wasn't that many last week, but this week there are quite a few. We get Ha Ha number one hitting a second print. We all know that first print was very popular, a lot of store exclusives, and different cover art. Always like it when those additional printings have different cover art. So that's one. If you're a collector, sometimes you want to collect them all Pokemon style. That's a great one to pick up. We also get Fear Case number one hitting a second print. And this is crazy because just last week, Fear Case number one hit final or cutoff. So issue number one isn't even released yet. It's already going to second print. And I think that's just the power behind Matt Kent's writing. Everyone, if you know Matt Kent, you know how great those stories are. So there's no doubt. Second print for Fear Case 1. We also have Amazing Spider-Man number 56 hitting a second print. I don't know if the story's that good or if the numbers were just that good from that Amazing Spider-Man number 55 cover. But no doubt, 56 hitting that second print as well. King of Black number one and number two both hitting a second print. Star Wars High Republic number one is hitting a third print this week. I Walk With Monsters number one is hitting a second print. We also get Phantom Star Killer number one hitting a third print. That's another popular indie book. It seems to be selling real well. In fact, we almost had that in three up, three down video this past week. And the last one we're talking about is Seven Secrets. We've talked about Seven Secrets on this channel a lot. Even Simple Man's Comics team with the 616 had just our own store exclusive, not only for issue number one, but we doubled down and did second print that Ultimate Fallout 4 homage variant, as well as that second print homage variant. Issue number one's hitting a fifth print. Issue number two's hitting a third print. Issue number three's hitting a third print. And issues number four, five, and six are all hitting second prints. Fantastic news. If you haven't jumped on this series, it's a perfect jumping on point. You can get those additional pranks. Catch up on that story. Or if not, if you want to wait, definitely suggest picking up the trade. But there it is, guys. Those are my picks for books that are hitting final or cutoff this coming Monday night, January 18th. Make sure you get those pre-orders in. Contact your LCS. If you don't have an LCS that you can order from, there's plenty of places online, just like blackcapecomics.com. And if you order from them, you can save 15% off your order. This is Brown with Superman's Comics. See you guys later.